Welcome to Be Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, the greater Portland metro area. My name is Frank Biggs. I'm a senior sales consultant for Be Young RV. And I'm going to show you the brand new Coachman Prism 24G. It's a brand new floor plan with two slides. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. This will be on the Mercedes uh, Benz Sprinter chassis, uh, one ton with dual tires. And you'll notice right off the bat, the new front end, uh, very aerodynamic. And that is actually a window up on the top up there. You'll notice the sideboard cameras. This does have uh, sideboard cameras plus the backup camera with it. The Mercedes chassis has been around for 2005 probably. And in around 2006, a number of manufacturers were using the cab part of it with the rails and the uh, dual tires to put, make these mini class C's. And they have become quite uh, the, the coach out there. And uh, they're very maneuverable, very small. You can get them in almost any campground out there. Plus the fuel economy uh, on these is outstanding. Uh, on this a coach like this, we're probably gonna start out around 14 miles a gallon on diesel fuel with a 26 gallon tank. And I would assume that we could probably move up to 16, maybe 17, depends on your driving skills or how fast you drive would be in other words. Uh, this happens to be uh, in the caramel color. This is actually the fiberglass and uh, it's, uh, it's got two coats of gel coat on it. It's extremely nice. Nice radius cut door. We have an electric awning. Nice thing about this electric awning from A&E is I can take and push it down like this and, and if it's pouring down rain, it'll just run off and not beller up and stretch the canvas or if somebody walked out of the coach, have a dump on them. Nice handle to get in and out of there. Down here we'll have the uh, propane tank, easy to get to when you pull into the service station or the propane service dealer. It's a slam lock. We do give you an extra TV outside here with speakers and a DVD player. So you can just set up your chairs out here and watch the game. I just hook it up up here. Nice. Slam lock door again. Sealed up pretty good. This will be the back of your furnace. The outside port, this is a suburban uh, furnace for the coach and uh, easy to service from outside. There's a little cubby hole in here. Again, slam lock. Outside receptacle. This will be back of the reefer for service port. Now, this is heavy duty here. Check this out. We're gonna have a little table here. I can just fine tune it down here. There is a barbecue, a little like a Coleman uh, two burner cooktop that comes with this. The camp stove is, wasn't inside there. It's down here in this uh, rotocast box with pass-through storage. So you got a nice little two burner uh, cooktop here. It'll use the cylinders on it, but uh, it's just a nice little place to have something to be able to cook outside. What I notice here, this, ha this is new. This, you know, because this is 13, this has jacks that'll come down. I'll bet you I can make them work. Oh, check this out. The thing is, you really don't want to add weight to a coach of this size. You got a certain amount of cargo carrying capacity, but check that out. Now, if I had an electric drill with a three quarter inch socket, I could probably do this in about three seconds. But what this is going to do is stabilize it when you're inside. Oh, I'll tell you, Coachman's always thinking of stuff. I've never seen that before from the factory. Notice that tailpipe down there, how clean it is? Well, this V6 Mercedes diesel in here, three liter, is one of the cleanest burning diesels there is. You can't soot, you, you can stand out here, and you're not gonna get asphyxiated. Again, this is a rotocast box with a drain, and it goes clear through. What do you got here? Look at this. We got a slide out out here. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, this is a one piece uh, cap back here in the back. Very aerodynamic, very nice. Nice big lights here, backup lights, turn signals, and brake lights. And then we have the slide. And like I said, this is a new model, it's 24G. 
And what they've done now is they put a slide out back here. We actually have a walk around bed inside here instead of a corner bed. You notice they use the Swintex slide out system, which is lighter than a rack and pinion. It allows this to happen. And the Swintex is put out by Lipiter, a major manufacturer of chassis and components for RVs. So, ideal. So many manufacturers have gone to this and it works great. Again, we got the, the color matches up here on this, the, the caramel color that this comes in. I do believe the dealership's going to bring them all in with this and uh, it looks great. This is a vacuum bonded coach. These slide outs are vacuum bonded. Nice big window back here. You do have a uh, 3,500, well it's a 5,000 pound hitch. You can tow up to 3,500 pounds here. So if you got that little smart car, a little RAV4 or something, anything under you know, the 35, you could tow it. You got a uh, seven way bargeman plug already there. I told you that we had access to the uh, the pass-through storage, we have three doors. Look at that. There's even a nice light in there. That's pretty good storage for a small uh, RV like this that you can park anywhere. Slam that, slam lock, I love it. Here's again another storage. Rotocast down here where it counts. Because, you know, we're going to get water in there, you know, wet boots or whatever. Got to drain. Okay, your uh, hookup will be here, your uh, power hookup, outside shower, hot water heater access, it'll be a six gallon hot water heater, and then it'll also be your city water hookup and fill area. Got windows on both sides, really nice, so you have a lot of light in it. And we do have one more surprise. We have two slides in this motorhome. This will be the sofa slide. And again, solid vacuum bonded coach. Now something that uh, Coachman does is the siding on this is called a product called Asdell. There's no wood backer. It has a porous man-made material that doesn't, water doesn't affect. It also lightens the load instead of having that wood on this whole coach in here behind the fiberglass as a bonded material. So uh, we have more cargo carrying capacity in the prism than any of the other uh, manufacturers out there. We do have a generator under here and this will be an Onan 3600 LP. Remember this is a diesel rig the LP generator will work off the LP tank on the other side. Very reliable. I have the same generator in mine and uh, very easy to start. And it doesn't use up my diesel fuel because I'm always checking mileage. All right, slam lock door. Nice little running boards on the side here. This is your fuel fill 26 gallons of diesel. You can get anywhere, it's ultra low sulfur fuel only. That's where all the, uh, anybody here, uh, even next to the Mexican border, that's the fuel we use. What's new also is we have leather seats here. And, uh, you know, you can change the height in it by just pumping. It'll drop it down. You got a, a lumbar. And then if you want to raise the, lower the back, the twist is here. Another thing that's unique about this, allowing more space up in the engine compartment, is the engine battery is down in here. That's something that happened in uh, the 2007 chassis. And we got some nice wood accent here. This is really nice. Steering wheel will uh, telegraph and tilt. That was new in 2007. Remote control mirrors, power windows, got everything. Here inside, we have a lot to offer here in this Coachman Prism 24G. I told you about outside about the window up here. You can watch the stars at night while you're sitting here eating food. But if the sun's in beating on it, you can pull this up, all right? Got some nice uh, LED lights. These are LEDs, can you believe that? And we have another skylight here, okay? And I can cover that one also with a sunscreen. But the big deal about this is it's power lift, oh my gosh. 
This thing is awesome. Made by Dometic. Now you can really see the stars. Imagine if you've had a chair here and you're standing out there, you could watch where you were going. Again, this makes it, having this set up like this, it makes it easy to get in without banging your head. This is finished off really nice in here. And whoa ho, look at this. Chairs, these are leather chairs. Now I do not have leather in mine, but my chairs do not turn either. And these are turnable chairs. Both chairs will turn around. So I can sit here, grab this thing here, and start relaxing. I can pull it forward a little bit so I can go way back. And you can take the table that's sitting over there. They got another pedestal here. And both people can turn to make this the eating place if they want to. Or there's a TV on the wall over there. What I like about it, I mean, one can sit in the sofa, one can sit here, one can sit here, and you can take this TV over here and pull it out. It's a Jensen TV. Jensen's known for the RV business, very rugged. That's a 12 volt TV, and I can watch TV from here. It also has the Jensen AM, FM, CD player, DVD player uh, radio in it, which is used in the RV business quite extensively. It's tied, it's easy to use, it's already wired in, and uh, it is tied to the speakers inside and outside. We do have outside speakers, so you can play music out there from it. It's great. Here's the dash, they've nicely accented here with this wood paneling look. We have a Jensen radio, it's also your DVD player up here. It is also your camera, which you can see here. I can just go like that and get rid of all that stuff. Again, we have sideboard uh, cameras, which you can see here when you turn your turn signals. And then the other side, it is also colored. Okay, Jensen's very reliable up here. Uh, you'll have Blu-ray hookup. Uh, again, this is the Mercedes chassis with the uh, three liter V6 diesel. We'll have a five-speed automatic behind it. You have semi-automatic air conditioning, set the temperature. Got a little clip here to hold papers if need be. This has the ASR system, which is a uh, system that uh, I know some, one of my customers said they got in a little trouble braking, hitting the brakes and they were kind of losing control and the ASR uh, took over for them. So it's something that Freightliner has had for quite a while to help you drive when you get into a problem. Nice finish up here. We got a lighter uh, wood in here, uh, like maple. Um, we got storage on this side and also on the other side, nice etched glass here. These are raised panel with etched glass. Same thing that the Leprechaun would get, which is their upper line in the gas side. Cabinetry up here, nice and deep. This sofa here is a small sofa that I can jackknife down. I can even jackknife it with a table there. And that's a uh, uh, leather type material like ultra leather. Here's another big deal. Most of these coaches would have uh, day and night shades. They have, I have a, a sun out shade here that will uh, keep it from heating up with the sun. These are MCD shades. Usually these are in the really upper high end uh, coaches. This is nice. So you have total darkness at night and just pull on them and they'll, of course, it'll just go up all by itself. Uh, we'll have LED lights here. We have switches for everything here. I really like that. Again, vacuum bonded walls. This is our control panel. This is going to be tied to the uh, Jensen radios for video in and out. Your slide out mechanisms are here. You got a nice, you also got a, a 120 plug system here. You start your generator from here. Uh, some of your lights are here. And see your awning switches down here and your battery disconnects right at the door. That's really nice instead of having to crawl up somewhere else to find it. Also, your house battery is underneath the step. It's not outside exposed to the elements. That's a big deal to me. Uh, again, this is the Jensen radio, standard in the industry. Uh, looks like part of the uh, electronics for the uh, Jensen radio. You'll notice that there's uh, furnace ducts are here. Uh, we, um, Coachman does not tamper with the floor. This is a vacuum bonded floor. And so your ducts will come out of here, close to the furnace, so it'll work really well. Nice roller guide drawers here. That one's a little longer. Solid service countertop with a double sink, nice and deep, one big one. Mowing faucet. 
pull out, you can wash your vegetables off, mowing is a standard in the industry. Again, the TV's up here, it swings out, locks up against here. You got a window in the kitchen that you can actually open, that's your holder. You always have a Venetian blind in here because of uh, food splattering or uh, water splattering. So, you can tie that off right there. Move over here. Remember, this is a compact unit. We're not going to have a big old oven and stove. This is a nice two burner with a high output right here. Glass cover, put it away. It extends the countertop up here when you're not using it. They did put in a splash guard up here. It feels like a uh, fiberglass solid surface material. Again, we look at the, you know, you can actually put a waste can down here underneath the sink. It's nice and clean and open. Drawers, roller bearing guides, nice hood fan up here. It's compact, stainless steel. You can adjust the light. Up here we're going to have a, uh, a convection microwave uh, combination so you can do your popcorn or you can uh, bake a pizza, uh, bread, cookies, and it's vented here. This is a big deal here, look at this. I mean, check this out. Nice big pantry with slide out drawers. Things change mid-year. This is really nice, really nice. You don't get that very often. Refrigerator is new in here. This is a Dometic five cubic foot refrigerator. It's big enough for this. This is new. This is the uh, this is a new series. It's got the uh, LED lights, the blue tin in here. This and, and look at the size of the freezer in here. And a lot of these small mini class C's, the shower is is too small, and you're always uh, bumping elbows. And this one happens to be a semi rounded shower stall with a curtain that pulls around, so you got some elbow room in it. It will have a skylight. I do notice there's a nice LED light above it. This is amazing. It's got LED lights all the way through it. Inside there, there's a small closet in there with two doors. There is another cabinet up on the wall. Uh, below that, you'll see some hooks to hang towels or hang your clothes if you want to. Uh, we do have a Dometic China Bowl toilet in here. They're much more reliable than the plastic toilets. And then we move around. Uh, we'll have a nice big mirror. You can stand there and comb your hair. There's a small sink in there, single sink, round sink. And the, the toilet paper roll has been mounted and a towel rack. And there's even an air conditioning duct up on the ceiling and a fan in here. All right, we're in the bedroom now. It does have a nice hanging closet in here. Bigger than mine. Instead, we have a slide out that goes to the back back here. And what this does is allow us to have a uh, RV Queen mattress in here. You'll notice there's LED lights in each corner for reading. We got the MDC shades. Um, you have an emergency exit window back there. What's nice is we also got a, a solid surface countertop back here on both sides of the bed so you can put your glasses and your drinks at night. Uh, we got some nice cabinetry up here. This is really finished off very nicely with the wood features up here. This has a really classy look to it. Again, this is a Coachman Prism 24G, a brand new model out from them, and uh, very competitive in the marketplace. And what I'll demonstrate for you here is how when you pull this slide in, what this would look like. It's still a usable area. As I said, we're pulling the slide in. It's an electric slide with the uh, uh, Swintech system by Lipiter. Very reliable. Just one of the many, nice radius corner here instead of a block corner. And this nice light wood really brightens up this motor home. Well, this is Frank Biggs. 
and I welcome you to come to Be Young RV and look at many of the uh, Coachman products that we have here or other motorhomes. We have a number of the prisms on in stock and again this is a brand new product from Coachman, the Prism 24G. We're really excited to have it. It had a great impact at the last show and I know we have some factory orders on it. I mean to have the features like the turning, the seats that turn, that's brand new uh, in, the, in the prisms and they're leather. The solid surface countertop here is really nice. Uh, the light wood and you just get so much more room out of a very short uh, motorhome that is highly maneuverable, gets great fuel economy and you know the engines run 300,000 miles. Thank you for visiting with me and come on down.